Hey there, it's Robbie W1RCP. We're on element four, sub element one, Charlie. This is for the extra license exam, also known as the amateur extra. And question one is what is the maximum bandwidth for a data emission on 60 meters? The correct answer is 2.8 kilohertz. Checking with the hand band chart, you can see right here, I highlighted it, 2.8 kilohertz. That is the maximum bandwidth for 60 meters. Question number two. Which of the following apply to communications transmitted to amateur stations in foreign countries? Well, those communications must be limited to those incidental to the purpose of am the amateur radio service and remarks of personal nature. That is the correct answer. How long must an operator wait after filing a notification with the Utilities Technology Council before operating on the 2200 meter or 630 meter band? We'll look at the answer first. Operators may operate after 30 days, providing they have not been told that their station is within one kilometer of PLC systems using those frequencies. So if you look back at the handband chart, one of the you have to use one of the later ones. If you have an old one, these may be missing. That is the link right there to register and then you still have to wait 30 days and I'll tell you right now that's a big antenna even a half wave of that is honking huge question number four what is an IARP that is a permit that allows US amateurs to operate in certain countries of the Americas and looking at the Canadian website radio amateurs of Canada I-A-R-U, you can read all about the International Amateur Radio Permit right there. Question number five, under what situation may a station transmit third-party communications while being automatically controlled? And that is only when transmitting RTTY or data emissions. Question number six, which of the following is required in order to operate in accordance with set rules in foreign countries where permitted? You must have a copy of FCC Public Notice DA16-1048, and you can find that easily on the Internet. This is the public notice. It's in three different languages. It's in English. It's in German and it's in French, and that is the requirement. That is the requirement, and we'll get into that in just a minute. European Conference of Postal and Telecommunications Administrations, that SEPT, these letters strangely are backwards, operate from most European countries without obtaining an additional license or permit but they must be in English, French, and German. What is the maximum permissible duration of a remotely controlled station's transmissions if its control link malfunctions? The correct answer is three minutes. And you'll notice on a lot of repeaters, if you talk over three minutes, it's going to drop you. Three minutes. If it is remotely controlled, three minutes is it. It must break that connection after three minutes. Now, this is an interesting question. What is the highest modulation index permitted at the highest modulation frequency for angle modulation below 29 megahertz? The correct answer is one. And I had to go to Wikipedia to look this one up. There is a formula. Uh, let's see if it was up here. It is your peak value over your uh, whatever A is. I've already forgotten that fast. Uh, that is, uh, I guess, a rest. 
Okay, so one is your carrier amplitude and one is your peak. Okay, so this is what it looks like at 50% modulation. This is 100% modulation. That is the one. So 100 divided by 100 is one. 100, uh, 50 divided by 100 is 0.5. This one extends beyond that limit. This is 150%, which would be about a 1.5, and that is a no-no. So for the test, it is just remember, it's a 1. Uh, if you over-modulate, you're going to have some spurious emissions, garbled, uh, garbled voice, and you don't want to do that. Question 10. What is the maximum mean power level for spurious emissions below 30 megahertz with respect to the fundamental emission? And we just talked about this just a little while ago in the last video. This is your fundamental frequency right here. You can see that it's the most radiated power in decibel meters. And this is your spurious emission. This is your second harmonic is above that negative 43. So you want to find some way to mitigate that with filters or something like that. Negative 43 decibels is that limit. Anything above that is a no-no. Which of the following operating arrangements allows an FCC licensed U.S. citizen to operate in many European countries and amateurs from many European countries to operate in the U.S.? And that is the CEPT. Remember, we just talked about that. That's the European Conference of Postal and Telecommunications Administrations. And the last one for this section in what portion of the 630 meter band are phone emissions permitted? Hey, 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 it's the entire band. And you can check that out right here on this nifty little chart. 2200 meters, you have your red and your green. Your red is RTTY and data. Green is phone and image. So the entire band is permissible. Alrighty, we'll come back again. This was only part three of 50. Keep carrying on. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel to show your support. I'm Rob W1RCP73.